Hey guys, this is Jimmy. Thank you for watching my time lapse video. I hope it worked out really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble our new spool holder. Uh, this is the spool holder that came with uh, with my G Tech printer, and it's an acrylic one. And the thing is, it's really, really tough for it to drag that spool around. So on Thingiverse, I noticed that they had this set up here, and I'll put the link in the description. And uh, what's cool about it is completely 3D printed, and it uses the PLA as the axles for the little wheels. So we'll go ahead and get this put together real quick and see how it works out. See if it's going to have a lot less. Uh, let me put this back through here. See if it's got less. Uh, Uh, put this up, by the way. Okay, so I just want to make sure that by using this setup, it's going to be a lot less stress on the machine trying to to uh, drag that filament across. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here, and we're going to put the wheels in it. And I watched the video for this, and you place the PLA line like that. You're supposed to take a little knife and cut it. I'm just going to pull it out of here. And I'm going to clip this as close as I can, and then just press it in. That's pretty cool. Let's pull it back out just a hair. That's nice. <laughs> the guy that came up with this really had a really great idea. We'll see how it works out though. Let's see. Filament. Area where I'm filming is pretty tight, so it's hard to. I've got the tripod put in place, and I'm just kind of working around the tripod. <laughs> more wheel and we are pretty much done. Now in the video it shows that you can take flexible filament and use it in the base uh, to give it feet but I don't have any flexible filament so I'm not going to worry about that. This has that spring to it so this will fit right down, clicks right into place. That is cool. <laughs> I don't know, let's see if I can get this on video. I probably can't, but it's got imprinted in the side of it. You can see the name. It's CT3D.XYZ. And it even says it on the top of this cone. You probably can't catch it. There. <laughs> it's just really cool way they got it set up. This right here will help uh, guide the filament. It just slides right into there. And then there's a spot here for putting some sponge in. And then you can put olive oil or mineral oil into there to help lubricate the filament. And then let's go ahead and take this other one apart. Uh, 
one that fits down onto here. I'll do it this other direction. And if anybody's wondering, the filament they use is the right now it's the fluorescent yellow. I thought it'd show up better on camera, but it really, really sucks on lighting because it just wants to glow too much. So I'm going to go with something a little toned down pretty soon. Um, you take this piece here that centers it. Oh, that's going to be a lot easier. And then feed it through the bottom tube here. And that's going to allow the machine to pull a whole lot easier, I believe. Even if I don't use that piece, that's going to be a whole lot easier for the machine to pull it. <laughs> anyway, there we have it. <clears throat> like I said, I'll put that in the video description uh, on where to uh, download this on Thingiverse. And I think that's going to be a lot less stress on the machine. Well, thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.